besides being two successful athletes in their respective careers. Neymar Jr. and The Rock are two celebrities who know how to multiply their great fortunes. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a heated battle between Neymar Jr. and The Rock. So let's fight! Cars! Both stars love to drive beautiful cars, but which one has the most expensive garage? Neymar, for example, has been seen with beautiful cars such as $25,000 E. Wavex, $50,000 Volkswagen Touareg, $55,000 Audi Q5, $83,000 Range Rover Sport, $120,000 Audi RS7 Sportback. He has also been spotted with an Audi R8 Spider, a sophisticated vehicle with a beautiful design to drive, whose price can exceed $150,000. Neymar has also been seen leaving with a Porsche Panamera Turbo, a powerful car for those who love great adventures, as it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds, and is valued at around $170,000. Another of his great achievements was the acquisition of a Ferrari 458 Spider, a stunning car that is the dream of many people, and that was no different with Neymar. And to have this beautiful automobile, the player had to invest about $260,000. Another even more luxurious Ferrari that he has already appeared in was one of the GTC4 Lusso models, a supercar that despite being worth a fortune, has already made Neymar go through trouble when the car key was not working properly. And to get through such a fancy ordeal, you may need to invest more than $300,000 in the vehicle. And some sources speculate that Neymar owns a Maserati MC11, a super sports car that accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.8 seconds and costs around $1.5 million. The Rock, on the other hand, has been spotted with several impressive cars, such as $35,000 Plymouth Prowler. $55,000 1971 Chevy Chevelle, $75,000 Ford F-150, $80,000 Jaguar F-Type, $105,000 Cadillac Escalade, $110,000 Range Rover Sport, $120,000 1969 Chevrolet Camaro, $130,000 BMW i8, $140,000 Porsche Taycan, $145,000 Porsche Panamera, $150,000 Aston Martin Vantage, $180,000 McLaren 650s, $210,000 Aston Martin DB9, $220,000 Bentley Continental GT, $250,000 Ferrari 458, $300,000 Lamborghini Huracan, $310,000 Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, $340,000 Rolls-Royce Cullinan, $350,000 Rolls-Royce Wraith, $450,000 Lamborghini Aventador, $500,000 Ford GT660. Already in the millions, he has been seen with a McLaren P1, a super sports car capable of attracting a lot of attention wherever it goes, whose price of the latest models can easily exceed the figure of $1.2 million. Even more expensive, Dwayne Johnson has already taken a picture with a Ferrari LaFerrari, a stunning vehicle with a modern and futuristic design, capable of charming anyone who likes sports cars. And it's no wonder that to have this incredible vehicle in your garage, you may have to spend a real fortune, and it can be found for more than $1.4 million. The most expensive car The Rock has ever seen was a beautiful Pagani Huayra, a sports car coveted by many car lovers. The sports car has a modern design with an impeccable finish, and if the actor has this car, he may have shelled out more than $2.6 million. As The Rock has more luxurious cars, he wins this round. Point for the actor! Most Expensive Mansion Both athletes invest a lot of money in nice places to live, but which one has the most valuable property? Neymar Jr., for example, doesn't skimp on his mansions. The player's most famous mansion is located in the Porto Bello condominium in Mangaratiba, Rio de Janeiro. The contemporary-style house has more than 17,000 square feet and has a series of luxuries, such as a floating staircase connecting the levels and works of art on the walls. The living room is perfect for casual gatherings, while the formal dining area has a huge table and the kitchen has stainless steel appliances. 
the house even has a home theater, a gaming space, and plenty of bedrooms to lounge in. In the case of the master suite, there are large glass windows, an automated TV that descends from the ceiling, and also a lovely terrace with a lawn, as well as a luxury bathroom and a very spacious walk-in closet. Going outside, the mansion is situated on a plot of almost three acres and has some very interesting spaces, such as a synthetic tennis court, private deck, swimming pool with an 82-foot lane, a gym equipped with high-quality appliances, spa integrated with nature, gourmet space with barbecue, wine cellar with capacity for more than 3,000 bottles, jacuzzi integrated with sauna, a helipad to arrive in style, among many other amenities that only a millionaire mansion can offer. In addition to all this, the place manages to offer a lot of comfort and fun for Nemer to enjoy with his peers, and everyone knows that the player is passionate about fraternization. And according to the real estate company Home Pro, the property was acquired by the player after watching the video of the house that was posted on YouTube, and he paid $8.5 million on the spot. The Rock, on the other hand, owns a luxurious mansion situated on a 3.67-acre plot in Beverly Hills in California. Although there are few records of the interior of the property, it is possible to see that Dwayne Johnson's property can offer a lot of privacy, leisure, and comfort for him. Resembling almost a resort, the mansion has several amenities such as a large green space, a cinema room with comfortable armchairs, a tennis court, a recreation area with a swimming pool, and even another heated swimming pool that is fully covered. And to acquire this Mediterranean-style mansion, the star had to spend a real fortune, According to some sources, The Rock had to pay the princely sum of $27.8 million. In other words, The Rock easily wins this round, point for him. Other Means of Transport Both celebrities love to get around with a lot of sophistication, but who has the most expensive means of transport? The Rock, for example, has been seen in a Gulfstream G650, one of the most modern, fastest, and longest-range aircraft available on the market in this segment. The interior of the plane is luxuriously finished and can carry up to 18 people with great ergonomics. And although we do not know if he owns this little jet, it is estimated that to rent it you have to pay about $15,000 per flight hour. Neymar, on the other hand, likes to enjoy life on the high seas and has been spotted partying on yachts several times. And it is no wonder that he decided to acquire his vessel, one of the Azimut 78 model, manufactured by the renowned Italian boat brand, Azimut Yachts. The yacht has three floors and is 78 feet long, enough space to receive his closest guests. And for when the player wants to spend a few days on board, for suites offer a lot of comforts. And there is no doubt that to enjoy all this luxury, you have to fork out quite a bit of money. To give you an idea of the price, this yacht model is estimated to cost around $3 million. Nemer also likes to travel with sophistication. For example, he once owned an EC-130 helicopter, a means of transport valued at around $1.7 million. Going up further, he once owned a Phenom 100 model jet, a small executive aircraft manufactured by the Brazilian brand Embraer. The aircraft can carry up to five passengers, offering plenty of comfort. And it is no wonder that to acquire this jet, it may be necessary to disperse around $3 million. In 2019, Niemer decided to purchase an even more expensive helicopter, one of the H-145 models. It is an aircraft with the capacity to carry up to 10 passengers, and Niemer made a point of personalizing its interior, placing seats with the symbol of Batman, the star's favorite superhero. And to give you an idea of the price, a new helicopter of this model can cost almost $10 million. But without a doubt, Niemer's most expensive aircraft is his Cessna Citation 680, an American mid-size business jet with a flight range of over 3,200 miles. The interior of the player's plane is very spacious and refined, being able to accommodate up to 12 people, offering a lot of comfort for all passengers. And although it is not known how much the player paid for the jet, it is known that a new aircraft of this model costs around $18 million. As Niemer owns his own toys, he wins this round. Point for the Brazilian. Watches. Both stars invest large sums in watches, but which one spends more money on this type of accessory? The Rock, for example, has been seen wearing the following watches. A $7,500 Tag Heuer Monaco. A $8,000 Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. A $13,000 IWC Big Pilot 7 Days. 
a $21,000 IWC Portugieser annual calendar, a $25,000 Rolex GMT Master II, a $28,000 Rolex Yachtmaster, a $30,000 Painrai Submersible Gold Tech, a $30,000 IWC Big Pilot Perpetual Calendar Spitfire, a $35,000 Audemars Pichuet, and even a $320,000 Audemars Pichuet White Gold. Mimer Jr. has also been seen with beautiful watches, such as Rolex Submariner Bluesy $18,000, Rolex GMT Master II Batman of $22,000, Rolex Daytona in 18K Eve Rose for $42,000, Rolex Daytona John Mayer Dial of $43,000 Rolex Datejust Zebra for $50,000 Rolex Daytona with a black dial for $60,000 Rolex Daydate Rainbow for $105,000 Rolex GMT Master II in rose gold for $185,000 Rolex Daytona Eye of the Tiger for $300,000 And even a Richard Mill Michelle Yeoh for $960,000 and because he's been seen wearing more expensive watches, Neymar Jr. wins this round. Point for him! Other Properties When it comes to investing in good places to live, the two celebrities don't skimp on their fortunes. But who has the most luxurious property? The Rock, for his part, bought a 13,000-square-foot mansion in a gated community in Miami, Florida in 2012. Going inside the property, we can see that the decor has a classic style with very sophisticated furniture. According to the photos that were released in the media, the mansion has a cinema room for the actor to watch his movies, as well as six beautiful and spacious bedrooms and seven bathrooms, some of which are very luxurious. In the external area, there is a lot of space with very green grass and a beautiful swimming pool with a jacuzzi. And to live in this big house, some sources estimate that the actor paid around $3.5 million at the time. When Dwayne Johnson wants to have more tranquility and contact with nature, he can enjoy his amazing 46-acre farm in Powder Springs. Entering the property of the actor, we can see how well cared for and beautiful his farm is, with an extensive green lawn, an ideal place for those who enjoy contact with nature. There is, for example, a large private lake, a place where The Rock has already posted on social networks that he likes to practice fishing and have a lot of fun with his daughters. The main farmhouse, which was built in 2002, has French Provençal architecture and has almost 15,000 square feet of floor space. Its interior has a rustic design, with a strong presence of walnut wood and stone cladding, as well as high ceilings and good natural light, reminiscent of old historic mansions. The mansion has eight bedrooms and nine bathrooms, some of which are very large and luxurious. In the backyard of the property, there is a good recreation area with a barbecue and a beautiful round swimming pool with a whirlpool. But no doubt it is the outside of the property that is most impressive, with a large area of pasture and of course a barn with 12 stables for the property's horses. And for when the actor wants to have fun with his animals, there is a spacious sand track for horses. As reported in the media, Dwayne Johnson needed to spend about $9.5 million. Meanwhile, Neymar Jr. has many properties in his hometown. He owns for example a beautiful apartment in the state of Santa Catarina, in a luxury building that has a privileged location facing the beach, with a beautiful view of the sea at his disposal. According to some sources, the apartments in this building are about 4,700 square feet. And to purchase a unit, Neymar needed to fork out around $1 million at the time. In the same area, the player also purchased another apartment in recent years, this time in the Vitor Hugo residence condominium, which is just steps away from the sea. The condo offers several amenities to residents, and according to sources, Neymar owns two units in that building, each with 4,700 square feet of space and lovely ocean views. According to media reports, the properties cost the player approximately $1.2 million. But Neymar's most sophisticated apartment in Brazil is undoubtedly his four floors penthouse at the Yacht House Residence Club in Balneario Camboriú. With 81 floors and over 918 feet high, the complex is composed of two identical towers and was built with a lot of planning, sophistication, and class. This development is so grandiose that the construction is considered the largest Brazilian residential building and the tallest building in Latin America. And, of course, the apartments in this building are up to its magnificence. 
all units have a panoramic view, which is the property's great differential. And when you want to have fun, you don't even have to leave the building, since it has a huge, luxurious leisure area of more than 107,000 square feet. To get a property in this elegant building, Niemer had to invest a real fortune. According to some sources, the player bought two apartments in this development. The first is a $3 million unit for his father and the second is his apartment, which cost around $6 million. And all these properties are just a part of Niemer's real estate portfolio because it is estimated that he owns dozens of properties. And since we don't know the full extent of Niemer's property portfolio, let's call this round a draw. Sources of Income as well as being great athletes, they also have other sources of income. But which one stands out the most in the business world? Niemer Jr., for example, because he is considered one of the best footballers in the world, he has become a celebrity known all over the world. On social media, for example, he is the third soccer player with the most followers in the world, only behind Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. On Instagram alone, he has over 200 million followers, a number so high that it makes him the most famous person in Brazil. And of course, because he is so famous, Neymar manages to earn a lot of money by associating and promoting several companies. Among the brands for which the Brazilian star has already advertised are for example, Red Bull, Gillette, McDonald's, Nike, Guarana Antarctica, Oreo, Clear Men, MasterCard, Diesel, Beats, and Panasonic, among many others. But without a doubt, his main sponsor is the sports products company Puma, where he has the largest individual sports sponsorship contract in history, a value that is around $25 million a year. The Rock, on the other hand, is not far behind. One of his ventures is his production company called Seven Bucks Productions, which has released several successful films starring him, such as Rampage, Jumanji, The Next Level, Hobbs and Shaw, Red Notice, among others. However, in the fitness business, Dwayne launched Athletico in 2019, a mega event with talks focused on athletics and well-being. He has also released his own app called The Rock Clock, which features a motivational alarm clock and goal plan for those who are looking to improve their physique. On the other hand, in the American football universe, it was announced in the media that The Rock and other partners have acquired the XFL Professional League for $15 million. Dwayne Johnson also has investments in the beverage business, being for example one of the partners of ZOA Energy, an energy drink made for those who need more energy. In addition, one of the actor's biggest businesses is his stake in the tequila brand Terramana, which has been very successful with the public and is projected to be worth billions of dollars in the coming years. And social media is where Johnson does a lot of the publicizing for his companies. On YouTube, for example, he has over 6 million subscribers, and he makes use of this audience to make money by boosting the sale of his products. On Instagram, it's no different, because he is one of the most followed celebrities in the world, with around 350 million people and potential customers. But he also takes advantage of his fame to advertise for other companies, such as Apple, Voss, Under Armour, among many others. To get an idea of figures, it is estimated that the actor's 2017 partnership with automaker Ford alone earned him around $15 million a year. But his biggest advertising contract is estimated to be with sporting goods brand Under Armour, with some sources estimating that the actor receives around $25 million a year from it. And because he has more diversified businesses, The Rock wins this round. Point for him! Net Worth There's no doubt that both athletes have amassed a lot of wealth over the course of their careers. But who has the biggest net worth? Neymar Jr., for example, had to work very hard to reach the financial heights he has today. At the time he played in the Santos youth team, for example, he earned about $2,000 a month, a figure that grew a lot, until it reached almost $4 million per season. At Barcelona, Neymar's salary grew exponentially, reaching an average of $15 million a year in base salary alone, not counting bonuses and sponsorships. But it was at Paris Saint-Germain that the Brazilian star reached the peak of his financial life, receiving about $53 million in salary alone. Adding this huge salary to his advertising earnings, the athlete's income is even higher. And it's no wonder that in 2020 Forbes estimated that Neymar earned around $96 million in the year, ranking among the highest-paid athletes in the world.
And although no one knows exactly what the value of his fortune is, some sources estimate that Neymar Jr. has already accumulated a net worth of approximately $200 million. The Rock, on the other hand, is considered one of the most successful actors in the world. In his prime wrestling in WWE, The Rock's salary reached the million-dollar figures, with sources estimating that he'd even made around $5 million a year. But it was as a Hollywood movie actor that Dwayne Johnson really made his money. To get a sense of figures, it is estimated that he received about $5,500,000 for The Scorpion King, $9 million for The Other Guys, $10 million for Fast and Furious 6, $12,500,000 for The Rundown, $14,000,000 for Central Intelligence, $15,000,000 for Furious 7, $20,000,000 for Hercules, $22,500,000 for Black Adam, $23,500,000 for Red Notice, and some $25,000,000 for San Andreas. And it's no wonder that The Rock has been considered the highest paid actor in the world multiple times, with his peak being in 2018 when it was estimated that he was paid around $124 million for the year, becoming the highest paid actor of all time. And while no one knows exactly how wealthy The Rock is, many sources estimate that Dwayne Johnson has a net worth of approximately $800 million. And because he has a bigger fortune, The Rock wins this final round. Point for him! At the end of this fight, we have 3 points for Neymar against 5 points for The Rock, making him the winner of this battle. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.